Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the string handlings in Java programming language. So in the previous video, I explained different programs. Now let's see uh, some more examples. So I had explained uh, the programs in IDE as well as on the paper. So now let me explain you this program here. A program to demonstrate the difference between the equal method and equal to method. So everyone is getting a confusion. So is both or uh, returning the same value or not? So in this video, I'm going to clarify your doubts. So equal method and equal operator. So what the equal method will return and what the equal operator will ret uh, return in the string handling functions, we will see. Okay. So class demo is loaded. Open press executed. Main method called. Now first string S1, new string, let's take hello. This is string S1, object is created. So let me take string uh, hello object is created one second okay so hello object is string object is created okay with the reference s1 with reference s1 so next a string hello another object is created a string object another object is created hello with reference s2 with reference s2 okay so here the string object will all, uh, always uh, create a string constant pool it's string constant pool it's going to be created so whenever system dot out dot println s1 dot equals okay so here whenever the string object s1 is created and string object s2 is created so the string or constant pool is going to be created string object hello okay so which is a string constant pool we call it a string constant pool i'll explain this constant pool in the previous video students okay a string constant pool so here a string this is relating to the string object 2 as well as string object 1. The string constant pool is relating to the string object 2 as well as to the string object 1. Okay. So system dot out dot println s1 dot equals s2. Whenever equals equals is going to be created. So it returns what? So s1 dot equals hello equal to hello. So it returns true. And whereas the equal to operator returns false. So, you will get a doubt. Why equals methods true and equal operator is false? Because here I am using uh, the string as hello only. S1 is hello, S2 is hello. Even though both strings are equal, the equals operator is returning true and the equal operator equals method is true and equal operator is false. Why? Why? Because, okay. So, one thing you have to be remember that equals method so equals method here always checks the compares the content equals method checks the compares the content compares the content okay so that means s1 dot equals sorry this is equals s1 dot equals s2 means it is comparing the content of s1 content of s1 is equal to the content of s2 so what is the content of s1 hello what is the content of s2 hello so both are equals means it returns the true then what about the operator equal to operator so the equal to operator compares the hash code equal operator equal operator compares hash code compares hash code so not the content equal to operator means so the s1 equal to s2 means s1 contains hash code and s2 contains hash code so the hash codes are not equal so means that, that is like something like 1 2 3 something a b c like that and this is like 4 5 6 
थ्री टू वन समथिंग डिफरेंट हैश कोड सो हियर दिस हैश कोड इज डिफरेंट एंड दिस हैश कोड इज डिफरेंट सो दैट्स वाई इट रिटर्न द फॉल्स सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इक्वल मेथड एंड इक्वल ऑपरेटर इक्वल मेथड ऑलवेज चेक्स द कंटेंट ऑफ ओके कंटेंट इट इज गोइंग टू बी चेक वेर एज ऑपरेटर इज ऑलवेज चेक्स विद द हैश कोड ओके सो दिस इज हाउ टू चेक द equals method and equals operator so now i want to give uh, a difference between the string string buffer and string builder okay so string means uh, the object of string class is immutable whereas in string buffer the object of string buffer class is mutable and whereas string builder the object of string builder class is also immutable so string buffer string builder the object of string is mutable whereas in the string the object of string class is immutable coming to the next the methods of string class are not synchronized whatever the methods that we are using the string class they are not synchronized but whereas in string buffer the methods of string buffer class are synchronized the string builder methods are not synchronized so the string builder methods and the string uh, string methods are not synchronized whereas string buffer methods uh, are synchronized so i said immutable what is the meaning of the immutable immutable means it means the value of an object cannot be changed whatever the value that you assign to an object that is ca that cannot be changed okay so Uh, this is what uh, the difference between the string string buffer and string builder so i'll show you the i said the immutable object the uh, whatever the it the value of an object cannot be changed so whatever the value that you assigned that it is going to be print so the value of the object cannot be changed here this is an example for the immutable object so first i assign string s is equal to hello s is equal to welcome so it is trying to print the welcome so the object whatever it is assigned later so that is going to be printed so the object so immutable means what immutable means the uh, the value of object cannot be changed okay so this is about the strings uh, so in the next video i'll explain about the string tokenizer thank you